okay so now we are going to discuss about the effects okay effects of pollution now what happens actually effects of pollution okay now see if you remember i told you one thing what that whenever we are talking about the any kind of pollution when we are talking about any kind of pollution there are very particular fixed gases okay which are responsible for creating pollution so if you all remember these are those gases which is responsible for creating pollution okay so i'll tell you one thing our planet earth okay i'm talking about earth now when i say that earth is quite different from the other planets okay so why it is different because life is there on the surface of the earth because life exists on the surface of the earth see what is that i'm talking about earth i am saying it is different okay it is different why it is different because it has life okay but why life is there why life is there so life is there because of many many reasons first of all what is there many reasons i won't be discussing much but still water is there okay atmosphere is there okay temperature is quite appropriate okay likewise many are there many many reasons are there but you know when i say that life is there and i'm talking about the perfect uh, amount of temperature perfect amount of temperature or perfect temperature or the atmosphere is there on the surface of the earth means what our earth has got certain gases and the level of these gases uh, is also fixed okay any kind of difference when the difference comes in the composition of this atmosphere what what it is known as pollution hmm? so when i'm saying that carbon dioxide is increased okay when carbon dioxide is increased so can it be a relation between the life carbon dioxide pollution and man activities just let me explain you see if i ask you what is the use of carbon dioxide can we survive without carbon dioxide i know your answer you will say we cannot survive without carbon dioxide because plants okay because plants take carbon dioxide and in presence of carbon dioxide what happens photosynthesis takes place okay photosynthesis takes place but you know apart from plant say for example we have discussed about this thing and we don't want to talk about this can you all think about something other use of carbon dioxide other impact of carbon dioxide other importance of carbon dioxide in our life see the temperature of the earth huh? try to understand the temperature of the earth in day time and at night there is not much difference between the these two temperatures okay that means day temperature and night temperature it's not uh, at the extremes you know at certain different planets you will find that at day the temperature is something else in the positive uh, and and at day time it becomes negative such a vast change in the temperature so if this kind of change happens on the surface of the earth we won't be able to survive believe me children there will be no life on the surface of the earth okay what i'm trying to say is on the surface of the earth the temperature difference between the uh, like the temp the temperature what whatever temperature is there in day and night there is not a major difference between these two temperature first thing second thing the temperature 
is quite comfortable for us that means we all can survive in this temperature why is it possible you know this carb this carbon dioxide has a special property to trap what it does it trap traps the heat of the sun see when this is the surface of the earth okay whatever heat is coming okay sun rays is coming heat is coming okay now this is again reflected some amount is uh, absorbed by the surface of the earth and then rest is reflected by the surface of the earth okay this heat is absorbed please try to understand this heat is absorbed by whom by carbon dioxide hmm? this heat is very very important for us because because of this heat only we are able to survive on the surface of the earth now i explain you again first of all and then i will proceed what i'm saying earth is different from the other planets you all agree with that i know why it is different because life exists on the surface of the earth hmm? now why life exists because there are many reasons okay maybe water maybe atmosphere and temperature what temperature is about like temperature where we can survive temperature which living beings can bear temperature where life can exist we have that temperature on the surface of the earth okay one reason for that particular temperature on the surface of the earth can also be that the distance of the earth and sun is quite good it's appropriate it perfect neither the earth and sun are very close neither they are very far hmm neither they are very close nor they are very far but the other reason which is very very important is we have carbon dioxide in the atmosphere we have carbon dioxide in the atmosphere now what is the function of these the, oh sorry uh, this carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide it absorbs the heat it traps the heat which heat the heat which is coming on the surface of the earth by the whose heat sun heat when sun heat comes on the surface of the earth some amount of heat is being absorbed by the earth some amount of heat is reflected back by the surface of the earth now this carbon dioxide gas they, they this carbon dioxide get absorbs the heat and due to which the temperature of the earth get increased okay this is quite beneficial this is very very important for the uh, life Mm, this is very very important for us. But you know now what is happening? Now, due to our activities, the level of carbon dioxide is getting increased. Okay, level of carbon dioxide is getting increased. Okay, now what is happening? What is the? nature of carbon dioxide to trap the heat so when the carbon dioxide is increased it it is it will the its nature will remain same it will absorb heat but when more carbon dioxide is there more heat will be absorbed and it will give rise to increase in the temperature of the surface of the earth okay now see this quality okay this process this phenomenon okay of absorption of heat or trapping of heat by carbon dioxide is known as what it is known as green house effect i will write this thing i'll explain you once again then i'll write it okay it is known as what green house effect we are talking about green house effect 
how can we define greenhouse effect the process of absorption of heat by carbon dioxide is called as green house effect what it is known as see the process of absorption of heat by carbon dioxide is called as green house effect ok. Just try to remember if you have seen uh, you know a particular part where the plants are grown and these plants are grown in a covering like the, the room or the area is covered by the glasses and sun's light is allowed to uh, like enter sunlight enters into this glass room and the sunlight can enter but it cannot escape out it cannot go out. So, in this way it is similar the procedure is same that when on the surface of the earth when the heat comes it is being trapped by the carbon dioxide and it is trapped it has come but it is not allowed to go back. That means now carbon dioxide has absorbed the heat and this heat will be there on the surface of the earth ok. So, when it will be there on the surface of the earth what will happen the increase in the temperature of the earth will take, take place. So, you know there are certain special like there are few gases um, which are responsible for this uh, green uh, house effect. So, those gases those gases which are responsible for green house effect ok those gases which are responsible for green house effect are called as green house gases. are known as greenhouse gases means what those gases which are responsible for the increase in temperature of the earth ok which are these gases I told you before also like one is the our all time available carbon dioxide and even methane ok. So, all these gases are what these gases are responsible for increase in the temperature of the earth and these gases are known as greenhouse what is known as greenhouse gases ok. Greenhouse effect the gases which is responsible for increase in temperature ok or the gases which are uh, responsible for creating greenhouse effect on the surface of the earth are known as greenhouse gases ok. Now, now these gases ok are responsible for increase in temperature. Now, the next part of this is what now the increase the increase in the temperature of the 
earth earth's surface is called as global warming okay so when the temperature of the earth increases it is known as global warming i'll explain you this whole thing once again in a just form because i know this is little bit difficult to understand but before this i'll also tell you i'll also tell you like what will happen if the temperature of the earth will increase you know scientists says that even if the temperature increase by 1 and 2 degree celsius what will happen you know the ice which is present the ice which is present on the polar areas okay the ice which is present on the polar areas these ice will get melt okay these ice will get see what will happen when the temperature will increase the ice which is present on the polar areas this ice will get melted and again like the glaciers the glacier whatever ice means what it is present in the form of the glaciers so these glaciers big big glaciers are present which will get which will melt and what will happen after melting where the water will go where the water will go it won't get evaporated it won't go anywhere it will be there on the surface of the earth itself so what will happen this water will become the part of sea water it will melt and will become the part of sea water and what will happen the level of the sea okay the level of the sea will increased obviously you know uh, 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 already you know what is happening the coastal areas the re, the area which is there near the sea already get flooded when there are little little rains you know you might have seen the condition of the mumbai uh, during tides okay which happened uh, couple of years back so many people lost so much of properties and lives and okay what happened that time it rained heavily and due to the tides the water level got increased in the sea and it created so much of destruction just imagine if the glacier melts and that what that water uh, get added to the surface of the sea the level of the sea will go where just imagine just by increase in 1 and 2 degree and the recent study Uh, like before few days only i have read in the newspaper that one of the big glacier in the himalayas has started you know they, it is it has started melting so what is happening the level of the water will increase and most of the areas okay which are there in the coastal part um uh, coastal area which is on edge of getting uh, being being you know uh, there is a danger of this part to be to get submerged into the sea are in asia hmm? whole thing we are going to study again we are going to revise see first of all what i am trying to explain you i am trying to explain you the effect of pollution okay before this we have read about the sources of pollution like what are the reasons why the pollution came into existence here we are going to study about the effect of the pollution so what are the effect of the pollution see green house effect a major burning issue what happens what is there in the green house effect the gases which is present on the surface of the earth like carbon dioxide it is already present on the surface of the earth methane which get released due to the uh, decay uh, or decomposition of the dead and decay uh, uh, decay of i am so sorry carbon dioxide which is present on the surface of the earth and methane which get released due to the decomposition of the dead materials now these gases okay 
carbon dioxide especially it has a property to trap the heat to absorb the heat ok. This property of carbon dioxide is very very important for us because due to this property only we are able to survive on the surface of the earth because then the temperature becomes totally favorable to us. A temperature which is easy which, which, which makes life easy hmm, on the surface of the earth. But now the carbon dioxide level is increasing due to human activities ok. The function of the carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide to increase what to, to sorry absorb what heat more carbon dioxide absorption will also get increased ok. When more absorption will be there means what will happen see carbon dioxide absorbs what heat. When it, this will increase means what will increase heat will increase. When heat will increase means what temperature of earth will increase. When temperature of earth will increase what will happen it will give rise to melting of ice. So, whole this phenomenon is totally connected with each other. When when we talk about carbon dioxide's property to absorb heat, this is known as what greenhouse effect. Means what it what the greenhouse effect tells us what it is the property of the carbon dioxide to absorb or to trap the heat, sun's heat, and keep it on the surface of this earth is what it is what greenhouse effect. Who is responsible for doing this? Obviously, certain gases. Those gases, gases which are responsible for increase in the uh, effect, the greenhouse effect are known as greenhouse gases ok. And due to greenhouse effect what is happening the temperature of the earth get increased ok which is known as what global warming. So, what is global warming? The increase in the temperature of the earth due to greenhouse effect or just you can write this much also the increase in the temperature of the earth is known as what? global warming. Due to global warming what is happening the ice the polar areas it starts uh, it, it will or it has started actually melting which will give rise to more uh, like you know the sea level will increase because the water will get uh, it will uh, add up to the sea water it will come and get mixed up with the sea water. So, the level of the water of the sea will get increased and that will what will happen due to that the areas the coastal areas or the areas which are near to the sea will be submerged under the water. So, these are the dangerous effect this is only one aspect ok just now we have discussed only about greenhouse effect greenhouse effects gases and global warming lot many things are left and it is even more dangerous um, uh, it is related and it's dangerous also. Now, we are going to study about you know acid rain. Now, what happens in the acid rain? Um, I will just stop this part and we will continue over here acid rain ok. So, you know what happens in the acid rain? Now, acid rain. Again, again, I am saying one thing that only these gases or oxides are responsible for creating pollution. Only these gases are responsible for increase in pollution, they are responsible for greenhouse effect, they are responsible for. Um, global warming they are responsible for many things. So, now what happen one more thing they do when these oxides are formed ok. See these all oxides are very dangerous after this we are going to study the effect of these oxides on our body ok and system. So, what happens you know when these oxides come into the atmosphere 
okay so it get mixed up it get dissolved rather i should say it get dissolved with the rain water okay when oxides get dissolved in the rain water what is formed acid rains are is um, acid rain is formed okay what is acid rain when the oxide when it rains when it rains the oxides which are present on the surface of the earth or in the atmosphere okay when it rains the oxides which are present in the atmosphere it get mixed up it get dissolved in these uh, normal rain and then what happens the acid rain is formed means what i am saying when oxides combine with rain it get dissolved okay it get dissolved and what is formed acid rain is formed acid rain is formed okay now what is happening due to this acid rain what hap like what are the consequences so you know this acid rain is not only uh, dangerous for the living things but it is equally dangerous for non living things also okay now what happens first of all just let me write the definition of the acid rain oxides present in the atmosphere get this one is what i explained to you okay get dissolved in the rain water and give rise to acid rain okay i think it is clear to you all always remember we are talking whenever we are talking about air pollution we are talking about all these oxides so what is acid rain when it rains the oxides which are present in this uh, uh, in the atmosphere it get dissolved in the water and then the rain which uh, is a normal rain the normal rain get converted into acid rain now this rain what can be the effect of this acid rain see first of all i'll talk about living things when i talk about living things okay when i talk about living things so when it falls okay when this acid rain falls in the in the water bodies okay when it falls in the water bodies so what will happen the ph okay the acidity of the water sea water or any kind of reservoir okay it get increased and then what happens the it it becomes really difficult for the aquatic life to survive in uh, highly acidic water and the destruction of aquatic life takes place okay i'll explain you again when uh, when the acid rains uh, occur and becomes the part of the water bodies and then what happens the ph of the water body is get increased and when the ph of water body get increased the uh, it becomes difficult uh, for the aquatic life to survive okay the, the survival of aquatic life becomes difficult and it gives uh, rise to the destruction of aquatic life hmm? now this was about living thing when we talk about non living thing when we talk about non living things see these uh, effects are really dangerous you know when the acid rain falls on the fields okay 
so what will happen or normally on the surface of the earth so the salinity of the or the acidity i should say acidity acidity of the soil get what it get increased okay the acidity of the soil get increased again destruction of the soil like destruction of the fertility of the soil it also harms the microbes which are present in the uh, soil okay why because in like you know uh, all the microorganism also need certain kind of fit, you know suitable um, atmosphere should be there suitable conditions should be there they cannot survive in more acidic conditions okay so even these uh, get these microbes get destroyed hmm? and it also affects the acidity of the uh, it also increases the acidity of the uh, soil it affects the fertility it affects the growth of the plant it affects the um, crop production it it affects the life of the farmers it affects the you know all are in chain all are linked together it also affects the life of the uh, people who live in that particular area who are part of that particular country who are part of that particular like you know uh, or to say the uh, particular area or world uh, maybe town village country whatever okay now the next point is now monuments buildings and monuments monuments and buildings okay when we talk about monuments and building you know acid rain is very corrosive acid rain is very corrosive what is the meaning of corrosive it corrodes we have learned in metals and non metals rather this is the last chapter so you we all know now like what is corro like what what corrodes means it it affects the uh, particular uh, when we talk about monuments it affects the walls it affects the Mm, uh, uh, the statues okay so it corrodes the statues it corrodes the uh, monuments and it it really uh, harm all such kind of valuable things in a to a great extent when we talk about monuments when we talk about statues when we talk about the destruction of nat uh, national uh, or um, our uh, uh, the saying national property i would really like to discuss over here about the taj mahal you know taj mahal uh, i think all of us if we have not visited at least we all know what is taj mahal we all know how beautiful uh, how wonderful it is okay and even we know that it is made up of white marble you know and even we know that it is situated in agra okay and Uh, at agra there are many uh, factories or industries uh, like in you know, particularly in area agra near the taj mahal and the particular area nearby area hmm? what are the factories and what are the industries like we have chemical factories over there chemical industries okay then we have some rubber processing um, industries over there we have oil refinery mamatra oil refinery uh, refineries over there you know the amount of uh, uh, the lead which is the amount of the toxic uh, which comes out from this factories this industries is really you know it's really like it comes out in a great uh, to a great ex like uh, the quantity is very high and when it rains it takes the form of the almost acid rain and when it falls on the um, taj mahal you all might be knowing that the taj mahal which is made up of white marble has started getting converted into somewhat yellowish you know somewhat yellow the marble is turning to yellow marble okay somewhere black marble like you know it's it's like the original color is you know it's getting deteriorated so uh, really it is a major concern just think that the acid rain when it affects the non living thing 
where it is affecting the uh, acid like uh, the fertility of soil when it affects the statues when it affects the monuments then how destructive how disastrous it would be hmm? so you no know, and it's not the case that like our uh, government has not done anything or our government is not taking any kind of measures rather you know the delhi government when realized that the uh, marble is getting converted the white marble of the taj mahal is being getting like you know is being getting converted into uh, yellow and the original color is being getting destroyed so you know what was done the that particular uh, industries were um, uh, ordered to shift uh, i don't know how many shifted and how many didn't shift but i know that uh you know the uh, again certain measures were certain you know uh, things were brought up like the use of lpgs um okay the use of like instead of using the uh, you know the the cow dung cakes burning of um, all natural uh, you know natural kind of fuels which creates lot of po- uh, this thing um, uh, create lot of pollution so that was stopped and lpg was uh, brought into existence like uh, brought into existence means there it was made compulsory to use lpg then use of cng what is cng compressed natural gas instead of uh, other fuels it also uh, decrease it, it has also decreased the amount of pollution uh, in the air of the delhi okay new delhi and again one more thing like the lead free it is being um, the emphasis more emphasis is given on the use of lead free petrol because when the vehicles are being run on the uh, petrol which contains lead it again it is very very disastrous because this uh, petrol which contains lead uh, it creates lot of damage to the body which next in next part we are going to study okay so uh, all these things were done and probably the amount of pollution okay probably the amount of pollution in the air of uh, delhi was reduced by using all such kind of measures okay so now uh, so now we are going to study the harmful effect of all these on our body okay